Hi guys, in this video we'll get to know about some BRAC UCSE stuff. So these are things that you already know or probably if you don't know, you should know. So a very, 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 very important thing maybe you already know. But this is, I'm telling this just in case you don't know. TSR, how to access TSR. Many, I have seen students facing problem with that. So I'm still gonna say how to do it. Even though maybe some of you are saying as I speak. I already know. Are you kidding me, pal? Which student of Bragg doesn't know how to access TSR? I guarantee you, sir, there are students who don't know. So, one way you can do it, if you're in any Windows PC in Bragg, you just have to press the Windows key and R to get this run application or you can also get run from the start menu. It doesn't matter if it is Windows 8.1 and 10 or 7, you will still find it in the start menu. There you give two slashes and write TSR. It doesn't matter if you write in it small letters or caps lock it into big letters. It still gives the same result. However, it will not work over here because this is not a PC in BRAC. You have to use a PC in BRAC to get the TSR. And if you're not having Windows, for example, you went to building 2 on third floor, you use the lab there, the library lab, you will see Ubuntu there. So if you do that, then this method will not work because you will not find run like Windows in Ubuntu. So what you will do, you will have to you write a code or it's not actually a code, a address double slash 172.16.2.11, something like that. I don't remember the exact code. And you will see it written in the wall. So please consider checking the walls. You will see it written to access TSR. Write this following address. So if you put input that address, as they said, you will access TSR. And I'm telling you, don't ignore stuff from TSR. There are courses which you cannot even pass without the materials you will get from TSR. For example, if you're using data structures, if you're doing 221 and courses like 370 these courses you will of course and without any doubt you will need the stuff from TSR not to mention from your own faculty because it may vary a little get the slides and stuff I'm not talking about CSA I'm talking about any course actually you should visit the TSR so and get your materials so that's a topic and I think I should end that here so get TSR and this is a stuff for actually someone who's doing 110 and 111 or about to start. So they face issues having Dr. Java working properly. So they have compiler issues. The compiler does not work and stuff like that. How do you solve that? As the software folder you're seeing over here, I have provided the link in the description below. So you can download everything you see over here. So if you're facing compiler issues, for example look I have JDK 8 E65 installed over here that means any program I write will work so I can just write stuff like import java.util scanner and I can start programming and it will compile and it will work but if you see Eclipse compiler and it's not working or any other pro compiling issues then download this stuff install this software JDK 8 and it will it may prompt you to install and update the software do not update the software do not update to java 9 or further because updating may cause issues and it may not work so keep your software as it is jdk8 install that and download this dr java and then start dr java and you will find it working 100% properly so and the last thing is Jelliot. So what does this Jelliot do? The Jelliot here is not working for some reasons. You will find the updated version in another search folder, AAJ. So AR, sorry. So there you will, s uh, this Jelliot is help, uh, is used in 111 mostly. You don't need Jelliot in 110 probably. You'll need it in 111. So in 111 you'll be doing tracing. And believe me, after me, Jelliot will be your best friend because you'll be doing tracing again and again and again. And you may wonder that my answers are working. Maybe my answers are correct or are they correct? When you have questions like that, Jelliot is your best and only friend. It will help you to do the tracing step by step. You will know exactly where you made your mistake and you can solve it at that instant. You can also run experiments using Jelliot. What if I write this? What if I write that? What if I don't write anything? You can do anything using Jelliot. So Jelliot is a must. 
collect that from on a jet search folder and this i have provided with some compilers python c++ c sharp and you may say okay i can't even do java and you're telling me to do some other programming languages sister or brother believe me if you do at least c sharp and c++ your java knowledge will be very strong you'll be like a professional programmer at least for these courses and further for 220 and other stuff if you do multiple languages i am experienced i have done that and i know how helpful that is you may wonder he's crazy what is it talking about another language i can't even complete java not to mention i have mns courses physics 111 physics 12 i know i did those courses as well but still i'm telling you if you do programming languages other programming languages it will give you a great boost in your skills i think i have said enough for like just few introduction stuff many people already know everything i said in this video but i still uploaded it cause i have seen some uh, fellow students facing problem to enter tsr and stuff like that so why not just include a video so that's all folks see ya